Hey, hey there guys, um, this is another episode of All of Dungeon Master, and uh, today I'm going to kind of do a kind of a special kind of video. Um, I've been going through my stuff here in my room, and I figured, you know what, I should do a video of kind of my RPG kind of collection a little bit, um, you know, my game, my board games, and just all, all, all around stuff I have that kind of solidifies me, I guess, as a you know, a nerd, a geek, you know, a gamer, that type of stuff. Now, I kind of want to start here with my novels. Uh, I have some Greyhawk novels, Dragonlance. As you know, if you've watched my channel, um, as I've said a lot of times, Dragonlance is a big influence on me. Up here, I've got some Forgotten Realms. And, uh, as we move closer, uh, you see my video games. You know, i got my Elder Scrolls, my Fallouts, and my NES. I'm a pretty big retro gamer there. Uh, over here next are my miniatures. Um, a lot of these are... I have some of the newer kind of D&D minis, but a lot of these I inherited kind of from my dad. From when he used to play, and I've now got into kind of repainting some of them. We've even uh, picked up a few that my grandfather found, I guess, going through flea market stuff. And uh, a couple of them are really nice, especially... Uh, this one's a pretty cool one. It's kind of like a barbarian. But uh, it's got a, like, Aegis. Uh, there's one shield of Zeus with uh, Medusa's head on it. So this was definitely somebody's uh, player character long times ago. Damn. Phone falling apart. Alright, then as we move on. Um, right over here, that's uh, some Mech Warrior stuff a friend gave me. And uh, kind of just sorting through it. It's a cool little war game. Um, here are some more miniatures. It's actually my purple worm that I did. Um, here's some more miniatures, more monsters. Um, I, I do like minis. Uh, I, I don't use them too, too much. My games aren't really relied on minis. Um, but... They're pretty, uh, somewhat important, I like to think, because it's been in the game, it's been in D&D &D forever, and it's just fun, it's fun to have that kind of cool reference. Um, also behind me, uh, some maps from a couple Dragonlance modules that I like, and I just started hung hanging them up. Up oh, there's the Beatles. There's another Dragonlance module map. Then uh, here we've got stuff, uh, some comic books, and then some binders that are filled with adventure modules. Like there's Dragonlance. This is a uh, assorted modules. You know, some second edition stuff, some other rules and stuff. Let me zoom in for a second. And there you go. I've got a uh, dungeon tiles up there. Some. Fourth edition, D&D Fourth Edition Essentials, rule books up there, some Star Wars up there as well. Only Star Wars books I own, and their adventure modules, not core books. Um, but anyway, we get to the kind of criminal clum of my um, collection, my my main shelf, which is you got Call of Cthulhu, Cyberpunk, uh, First Edition AD&D, pretty much almost. Uh, Almost a complete set, I think. Uh, in terms of books, even uh, with the uh, stuff I've printed out in binders, I think I might have a pretty decent complete set. Sadly, no second edition, except for the stuff I have, the small amounts of binders I have. But anyway, but one day I'll get a couple. Uh, next are some uh, the Anniversary Adventure Modules against the Slave Lords and Dungeons of Dread. They've got some uh, Dragon Magazine and a Dungeon Magazine. Knights of the Dinner Table, one of my favorite comic strips. D&D 3.0. I actually found this in a... Habit, uh, I think Habitat of Humanity Restore down in Florida. That was a cool find. D&D 3.5, this was actually the first player's handbook I owned. Uh, and my first exposure to D&D, way back in 2008. Pathfinder Game Master Guide. I love this book. It's uh, kind of become a 
It's a great reference for campaign building, NPC building, and whatnot. Magic items. It's a good book, even if you're not a Pathfinder fan. Fourth edition. Um, I thought fourth edition was pretty good. Uh, won't get too much on that topic, but I liked it. Um, it's good starting out on it. And then my one fifth edition book, Prince of the Apocalypse, which is based, which is basically the new kind of elemental evil campaign, which I love. Love that stuff. And uh, then, branching off my, from there, uh, there's a lot of my board games. I'm a big board game nut. And then, as you've seen in my videos before, my my kind of wall of maps. There's a uh, Kryn, Faerun, uh, Britannia from Ultima 7. That's actually, I printed that out. Um, love, love the Ultima series. Uh, Dark Sun. And then, uh, another picture. And then this is the world of, see if this was the first map I drew up for my world, for my homebrew. So it's kind of a very special, it's a very special place in my heart. This is the first map I drew. Oh, and then here's a 4th edition supplement to Shadowfell. Good, nice little supplement. But anyway, that's kind of, I just want to take the time to actually do kind of a video of kind of my collection here. Um, as my, as my parents would uh, say, I have too much. But, um, just want to show you everything, what I've done in about for about five years of being involved in role-playing. Five, six years. But yeah, and almost three of them on YouTube. And I just kind of wanted to do this because I finally did it. And I might even, yeah. And, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as always, I'm John, your friendly neighborhood dungeon master. This, um, stay tuned for more videos. And as always, happy gaming.